Hey everybody, welcome to Diecast Driveway. Thanks for pulling in. I've been trying to do some Hot Wheels hunting, but it is just so dry in my town. Um, and I figured out the other day that the employees at my local Walmart have been taking out the most sought after cars out of cases and hiding them until they get off. Luckily I found their stash the other day and put it back on the peg so everybody else would have a chance, but I just haven't been able to find anything. But I did pick this up. It's M2 1971 Plymouth Barracuda, and I thought I would just open it up and check it out with you guys and see what we think of it. It's a really sweet looking car, has some sweet things that come with it, two different sets of tires, a different engine, um, a cool lift, so we'll just crack her open and check it out. I debated on opening this because it's only, um, there's only like... Oh, it's probably not gonna focus. Oh, oh yeah, there's only 7,200 ever made, but for you guys, I'll crack it open and we can get a closer look at it. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Probably just like right here. The toughest plastic on the planet or the Dolus exacto knife. So there's like the art card that comes with it and all that. 426 crate. Heck yeah. And, oh, I thought that was a little box, but I guess it's not. We got... Looks like a list of all the parts. Dang, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. All different parts and everything. Two different engines. Sweet, let's get into it then. Mm. Got this cool little piece of cardboard with the 426 on it. So I can get that to stay up. Probably put a card in the back of it and it will, yeah. Um, maybe I didn't open up it good enough. Here's a look of it out of the box. Pretty sweet. Well, here's the lift and the actual car. This thing is really heavy. Uh, and of course, they added tape on the inside. Packaged very, very well, I'll have to say. Man, these wheels are small, so... Comes with a little screwdriver, which are always really nice to have. Little Phillips head. Uh, comes with four axles, so I was hoping it might have had more in it. God, my camera does not like to focus. Huh? Um, here's the replacement engine. I think this is the 426 crate. Must have the stock in there. I think this is a sticker. It's a pretty cool sticker. The 426 crate Mopar, the elephant.
And then we got two sets of tires and two sets of rims. Come on. Man, this is a pain to get these out of here. Come on, all right. Here's what looks like, they kind of look like mag wheels, the old school hot rod mag wheels. Of course it doesn't want to focus. And the other ones... are like street wheels. Oh, that worked really well, like spoked street wheels. And we'll look at these ones again. And these ones are like the old school Mopar mag wheels. Here, we'll do that with the engine too and see if we can get a better look at it. Come on, focus, you son of a gun. doesn't want to. I need a better camera, I guess. And the, the tires. Look at these. These look just like regular, like, I don't know, street tires. But look how thick the mopos are. Like front wheel, back wheel. Definitely a drag car. And then the other wheels are pretty much the same as in thickness. You got the front one, the rear, but these ones have Goodyear written on the side. And I like that, so I think these will be the ones that I'll be using. Oh, come on, Kathy, oh geez. Uh, and I think I, I'll probably use these other wheels for, I don't know, a wheel change on a different car. Wheel swap. But the lift, man, this thing has a lot of weight to it. And the lift has, like, these, uh, they don't feel like they're on there. Oh, yeah, I guess they do. It's got the lift with the ramps on it and everything. Come on, focus. All right. It is 426 on the side. Flowmaster. It's got some other stickers and decals. So let's get it out of here so we can see a little bit better. Two Phillips head screws on the bottom. So you can make sure it's secure. I still still can't believe how heavy this little lift is. That's my cat in the background scratching on something. Alright. And here is the car off the lift. Sweet. Look at the details. That grill is cool. Got all the lights. On the hood we got the 427 Mopar. It's like a dark gray with like a black top on the back we got a little 1971 license plate nice little decals for the tail lights I think the doors open yeah the doors open well that one did I guess this one doesn't want to 
That's weird. Hmm. Um, the hood. I guess it's gonna be really hard to open. Oh, there's that door. Let's see if we can get this hood up without doing any damage. There's the hood. Oh, it doesn't have an engine on the inside. Bear in there, waiting for, waiting for that 426. I don't think the trunk opens. Really don't want to pull on it too hard. Okay. So let's get these wheels on and see what it looks like. Love that lift so much. I wish it went up and down though. It's still really cool. Um. I'm not sure how these are supposed to work. Do they like just pop on or? Oh, there is two sets of axles, nice. Yeah, they must just pop on. Which ones did I say I was gonna use? Oh yeah, I'm gonna use the street ones. Oh, we just push them on there. Yep. Like so. Using those. Come on, camera. Using the spoke street ones. There we go. They get two different size axles for um, the front and the back. Oh, I didn't want to use those tires. I wanted to use these ones. Oh yeah, those look real good. Come on. Just put on the car. I guess you just slide her through. Oh man, that looks good. We'll get the other tires out of the package. If I don't lose it, oh, oh I got it. Almost went under my chair. Kind of tough to get on the rims, but that's okay. You want a good fit. Oh yeah, this is gonna be sweet. Alright, now we'll do the front. This was eight eight ninety seven at my local Walmart, I think. If I remember correctly. There's the front tire.
There it goes. Skinny front tire. That ram, there it is. Other skinny front. Oh, maybe those axles aren't for this. Oh, huh, that's weird. Why would you get two smaller ones and two big ones? Now I gotta get this tire off of that small axle somehow. Oh, it just popped right off. So I guess we use the two bigger ones. Maybe the back, the smaller ones for the back. We'll give that a try too. I didn't read any instructions, I just popped her open. Yeah, I definitely think it was these littler ones that I was supposed to use. So, I'll get these back tires off. can't get it off. I might need a pair of pliers. <sighs> Maybe I can use my cable. Nope. I'll be right back. I need a pair of pliers. According to these directions, you're supposed to be able to do a whole bunch of different parts. But I didn't get any of these other parts. <laughs> That's okay though. Car. Yeah, that's much better. Oh yeah, look at that beast now. This thing is sweet. Look at that. Those rims look great. Look at those big old back tires. Rolls really nice. All right, let's get the engine in. Just pop the hood. Just drop the engine in. I wonder which way it goes. Goes this way.
Yeah, that's not the engine. I'm pretty sure it is though. Here, let's take the bottom off. I don't know what the heck's holding the back down. I don't know. So weird. I don't know, the smile. It's kind of weird. Put the engine in, but I'm sure it's not going to stay in very well. That's fine. I'm just displaying it. Oh no. What happened to the screw that was on the bottom? Oh, it's right there. It's still on there. I was looking at the wrong hole. All right, well, there she be. Come on, camera. Pretty sweet car. I'd say definitely worth nine bucks. It comes with this sweet lift. You just put her on there, keep her on there. You can screw it in, but uh, I'll probably just display it on the top shelf of my Hot Wheels display. What do you... What do you think, Castiel? Approved? Yeah, okay. I think that might be my new favorite car. Might even turn into my all-time pocket car. But I definitely think it's worth nine bucks, especially when you get this lift. This thing weighs a ton, and it'll look really good displayed. You get extra wheels and stuff, too. So, alright, well, thanks everybody who watches this. If you find yourself one of these, I, I would say grab it, mess around with it, display it, do whatever you'd like with it. It's definitely cool. I love those back tires. But yeah. Alright, well, like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Drop a comment. Any questions about this model, I'll answer it. And I'll catch you in the next one.